been a busy day today. I wait for one bus and four come along at once. This one is the Winchester XPR bar. Now, I've had a few Winchester XPR rifles in the past on review, and you know what? They've all shot very well, and I thought they were rather, rather good for the money they cost. So, in the box, what do we have? We have the fairly hefty three lug XPR bolt, which usually works quite well. Bolt handle on it is a little bit loose, but I'm sure we can nip that one up. And uh, we've got a trigger lock with it. Magazine looks like maybe a three rounder. And then here is the rifle. So, the Varmint, we've got a heavy barrel, looks like an 18 millimeter again off the top of my head. Free floating, perhaps not massively free floating, but we'll see how stiff that is on test. It's got a bipod stud. You can see it feels quite, quite rigid actually. Should be okay. And we've got a kite scope on this one, which is a quite stiff 100. Uh, it looks like a 2 to 12. Well, I can't quite twist that with my hand easily. Adjustable cheek piece. The trigger will be okay because the bars are quite good. It's got a slightly spongy soft recoil pad, which I'm never a huge fan of. Uh, conventionally tapered butt underside on that one. Sling stud again there. It's like, it's, it's a, yeah. It's a kind of a sporting varmint rifle, I suppose you could say. It's certainly not a vertical pistol grip. Uh, it looks like it's got tally rings on it, but I suspect it probably comes with... Yes, it does. It does actually come with a set of weaver bases anyway. These have just been fitted and sent to me because it's a review rifle and you can see all the polystyrene on it. Two position safety caps. There's a bolt release there, which will be good because it means it will lock the bolt when it's on safe. So... Let's see how this one goes. This one's in for review, it's a 308. And I, I quite like Winchester XPRs, and the thing is, um, Winchester's not a name we see a massive amount of in the UK, but generally speaking, I've always had quite good rifles from them. So I look forward to reviewing this one. Stay with me, we will still take it for, uh, take it shooting, see how it gets on. Uh, I think I might do a video review on this one because I think it deserves it. Um, as I said, Winchester is a name I don't think gets enough coverage, so there we go. Right, ta-ta for now.